Hey YouTube, we're Ed Kirkpatrick. We're uh, gonna can hamburger meat. Yep, we're gonna brand it off and throw it in the canner. Yep, brown hamburger meat can do. Yep, we're doing about uh, two and a half pounds. Catch up with you later. All right, here we go. Grounding the ground beef. What you want to do, you just want to grind, grind it off just enough to get the pink out of it, which I've done. And you see all that juice, just water and grease. I've been draining it off with a spoon and filled up one cup that'll go in the trash. I'm gonna fill up this other cup. And then I'll run it through the uh, collar into here. A little pan to catch the remainder. And then we'll start canning it. If you really want to see a, a tutorial on how to do this, Appalachia's Homestead, she's got a very good uh, tutorial video on, on how to can uh, ground beef. All right, be back shortly. All right, the meat's drained. I skimmed off two cups as it was cooking and then drained in that pie pan there about halfway full. So we'll let all that coagulate and throw that in the garbage. You don't want that going down the, the sink. And we're going to get ready and get the canner going and get the jar sealed. Stand by. All right, we got the uh, hamburger in the jar. We top them off with water, hot water. We're going to wipe the lids off. And what, yeah, seal off, put the lids on, and then going into the canner here in a minute. Yep, stand by. Ground beef, canning at home. All right, five quarts of hamburger in the canner. Put the lid on it and bring it up to where it's steaming, and we'll go from there. All right, pour it step. See the steam coming out the top. Yeah, it's taking all the air out. I don't know if you see that real well or not. Anyhow, as that's happening now, we want to let that go for 10 minutes. And then we'll uh, put the uh, eggs here pretty good. And we'll put the top on. Very important step. Now she's doing it. And you can hear it. I'm steaming off there. The little lid on the top come up. That means it's pressure now. So we'll continue on here at the 10 minute mark and then we'll put the pressure regulator on. Okay, it's been 10 minutes time to put the pressure regulator on there. That's what we just did. Now we want to get that thing to where it's going to rocky, rocky, rocky. Alright, so come back when it gets to that point. Alright, here we go. Now we got the action we're looking for. Yeah, good. So this is important. That's 10 pound weight, so that's 10 pounds of pressure. And this is when you start your timer. You're doing pints, so you want to do it for 75 minutes. So we set the timer for 75 minutes and we let this little bit of rock and roll. Yep. Brown beef, we can it. Okay, it's been 75 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off. And because this is on one of them glass top stoves, and that was, that's the first one. You want to move it off that eye, even though you cut it off. These glass top stoves hold the heat for a long time. That's going to slide it off the eye right there. And we are going to let it cool now. It's going to take another hour. As you see, it's already starting to do its thing. And you see this little dealer right back here? Yeah. We have to wait till that goes down. And as long as that up, this can is under pressure. And, uh, that's not good when you try to open it up. So, 
Hang on there, you two. Where are we going to get this stuff done before it's over with? Takes a little bit of time, but it really ain't hard. Just time. All right, get back to you shortly. Ground hamburger. She's a settling back down.